Hello. Welcome to the Queen Prophetess channel. Where I practice cartomancy. And cartomancy is, if you're not aware of what cartomancy is, cartomancy is the practice of practice of divination with playing cards. Today, we'll be using the Cosmopolitan deck. This comes from the Authentic Casino Playing Cards series. And I got this from, funny enough, Dollar Tree. Yes, they, um, back when they were just a dollar, not a dollar twenty-five. But I had um, gotten some of these playing cards um, to use later. And guess what? We're using them today. So today, this uh, is a reading. This video is the reading of my Scorpios. We're doing a general read, weekly read for Scorpios. This is from February 28th through March 26th. Ooh, the spirit really want to talk to you. I got a lot of pop outs. Now, the way I'm going to be doing a nine card spread. I'll be doing a nine card spread. A nine card spread. I'll be doing a nine card spread. Um, thank you. I was going to leave that out there, but the Holy Spirit said, no, take that up. We have to start this off with a prayer. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Holy Ghost, Holy God, to speak to me, through me, to your Scorpio children today, through these cards. I thank you, Lord, that I have an ear to hear and the spirit of discernment to read the cards, to read these cards, as a I'm sorry to read these cards correctly that I rightly divide what the spirit is saying what do you have for our Scorpios today Holy Spirit speak to me and I thank you for divine discernment Woo. Okay, divine discernment for the Scorpios this week. Oh, good Lord. The spirit must is, oh my God. I couldn't even finish my prayer in Jesus' name and amen without the spirit is like, ah, I was waiting for you to do Scorpio. You know, I even had to put cards back in because. It's like, no, no, no. So, as I'm a new cardamancer on YouTube, I like to read from the pop outs. I don't pull, I like mine to pop out. I feel like the spirit will call will bring out the cards as I shuffle them that needs to be read. But sometimes the Holy Spirit, sometimes the Holy Spirit will tell me, child, to um, just pull it, do, do fan a mountain and pick. But today is the pop-ups. Two more cards to finalize this spread, Holy Spirit. What do you want to say to my Scorpios? There we go. What do you want to say to my Scorpios? There we go.
All right. So, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Are you starting a new business? Are you starting a new business, Scorpios? Or maybe you're starting a new job. Maybe you're getting a promotion soon. Because you have the Jack of Clubs as your topic of this of this reading today and the clubs in cardamancy represents work business um social clubs contacts contracts clubs pre i mean contracts um progress and legal documents so Maybe you are, I'm feeling that this is going to, it's about maybe an announcement about your business. Maybe you're doing a grand opening. Or maybe you're getting word about your, um, the interview you, you may have had last week or earlier regarding um, an interview that you did. You may be getting an announcement, you may be getting a call about your um, interview, how it went. Mm. Mm. And the outcome of this spread, so I am kind of reading this backwards. <laughs> as far as telling the story, I'm not giving you, oh, this and this and this and then, boom. So I'm telling you what the topic of this spread is going to be about your workplace um, or your business. It's going to be talking about this, that. Um... The outcome is over here in the right corner. The outcome is nine of diamonds, and diamonds is uh, represents or represents in cardamancy material things, money, energy, success, and power. So I'm thinking whatever the announcement is, or what you're going to hear about your business or your or your new job is that you got the job, you know, because this could be great success. Or maybe the deal that you were working on is coming to pass. It is coming to pass and you are getting more money for from this new job. You're attaining more money here. This is also a good luck card. This nine of diamonds. You will be receiving a check that is not from income. So you may be also in this announcement of your business. Maybe you'll be getting some ex making some extra money somewhere that's not like a regular income. So I'm thinking Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Is it income tax returns? Those who file on time. Some people are getting their money. And this money you're getting your tax returns this week.
you're getting uh, the federal. I'm feeling like that's the federal. And it's going to help with this new business. Or it's going to help with segueing between um, working at where you're currently working and transitioning to your new job. You know, that in-between pay period. Because it may be a little bit off Scorpios. You may be starting on a week, then a non-pay week or, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to need this, um, this check this extra money from the government, which is probably your federal income tax returns. Now that we read the topic and the outcome, the topic, let's get more clarification on the topic and the outcome by reading the other cards. I will read the other cards here. And, um, because, you know, the Jack of Clubs is looking right at the, the, the Ace of Hearts. So, that is a new beginning. Maybe you're starting to feel something going on. You, you're having a, uh, maybe there's a family member. Maybe because of this new job or this new business you'll be um, considering moving into a new home soon. Now, the Spirit is telling me that this is more about you're beginning to heal. This new job is going to help you heal from the trauma of the last job or business venture, Scorpios. This new employer is going to be really good to you. Because you really had a horrible boss. I'm feeling the, like the spirit is saying you had a really bad boss. Or you work for a bad company. Now you also have here the Ace of Diamonds. Which is um, you're getting a new source of income coming in, which clarifies this jack here. That you're moving on and you're getting a new source of income. You're getting a new source of income. It's going to be at a better place. You can begin to heal from the trauma of the last job. Mm -hmm. Now, this over in this right corner, we have the two of diamonds, which is usually regarding sharing of finances, or maybe you'll be getting some financial assistance, or you will be financial assist uh, a financial assist for someone. But because we're talking about this, the clubs and this talks about work and business, this is not just talking about, this is not about money. I feel like this is about the energy. You have a, a successful rela new relationship at your job or I keep saying I'm saying job so it must be about your job. The spirit really wants to drill in that it's about a workplace situation. It could be about business and moving on to create another business or moving on from and you're getting a better business deal with someone else um, and the person that you were partnering with Scorpio um, before wasn't really a good partner and it could be that but I'm feeling feeling the spirit is, is really focusing on a workplace 
not a business office or you owning your own business type of situation. Though I will say that it can be either one. But I'm leaning strongly towards in an employment situation. Sorry for that. I kicked my tripod. Didn't mean to. Excited about your reading. And it's going to be a new set, successful relationship because you got a new source of income. This um, two of diamonds is, is a successful relationship. So you moving on to this new employer is going to be a successful relationship. Now let's explore this challenge over here. The three of spades. Spades in cardamancy represents um, problems, challenges, difficulties. Okay. And the three of spades. It could be a third party interference. That is the reason why you need to move on to a new job. Someone interfered here and kind of kept you from get, being great at your previous job, so you had to move on. Now, I said earlier that you must have had a really bad boss or a manager or whoever you reported to was really bad. They were probably... There was a lot of lies and deceit that was going on. If it wasn't a manager, then your partner, your previous business partner, Scorpios. Um, there was a lot of lies and deceit, which is the reason why you you, you have to you, you're healing from it by moving on to a new source of income. It was this third party interference that was causing all the problems. Mm -hmm. Now you got almost all the sevens up in here. Seven, 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 ninety-three. Oh, we don't got oh seven, 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 ninety-three, eleven. Oh shoot, y'all is in the vibe of Prince today. Cause you do, you got seven, 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 ninety-three. One one eleven. What? This is crazy, yo. If you don't know about Prince, look it up. Look up that lyric seven 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 ninety three eleven. Yes, yes. So let's explore these sevens up in here. Now this is gonna be a problem, but it might not be a problem as much going forward. Not all space is a problem. Sometimes it's actually solving a problem. It represents a salvation of problems. So let's let's start with the bad stuff. Let's start with the potential challenge here. Um I'm feeling like your previous business partner or workplace but you know I'm leaning more towards the workplace, your manager or whatever, you had challenges and setbacks and stagnation there They, it was like you couldn't move up you, you kept hitting a ceiling they kept promising you a promotion, you're going to be manager I, um, you're going to stay on the track and they kept lying to you you were stagnant, you weren't moving, there was nowhere up for you Okay. So you had to move on. And the reason why you could you kept reaching that ceiling, that glass ceiling, you kept getting promised and lied to. And then they're like, well, you need to have a a, a, a bachelor's degree. Okay, you got the bachelor's degree. Uh, you need a, a, a doctor's degree. You got the doctor's degree. 
they have no reason no real reason not to have given it to you aside from this third party that just was hating. This is the hater card. I'm going to start calling that the hater card. Never I see this, this third party interference. But yes, so this is the reason why you have to move on to a new job. Okay? So that you can improve your finances and your spiritual energy here. You're going to invest in a new business because this is your healing. You're starting new. You're getting new income. You're getting new income here. And then on top of it, you got the workplace and the business that was seen your hard work. Then it was hard work. You're a bit of a workaholic. That's why you're surprised that you're stagnated. They kept lying to you it's, and saying that you were going to, um, they were going to give you a raise, give you the promotion. They kept over looking you for the promotion. I'm being distracted. I hear. Oh, wow. It's interesting. Okay, so that is definitely... That is definitely I'm sorry. I'm having technical difficulties here with you all, but that's okay because I'm almost done with your read. Um, you have the workplace and business here where you feel a workaholic. But because you're a workaholic, that's why I just knew income and new success will work because they're going to recognize that your hard work they're going to recognize your hard work at your new 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 workplace or your new partner they will meet you there Also, maybe because part of the beginning of the healing, this seven of clubs also means that you need to relax. You need to relax. You're going to find out that you got the job. You're going to find out that you have the job and you're going to do well. It's going to be a perfect fit. And you're going to improve your finances. And if you were wondering if you need to go ahead and move on and actually go look for a job, you do. Do it and it'll be successful. Mm -hmm. Or you're going to stay in this stagnated workplace that you're never going to get a raise. Don't stay, don't get complacent here. Find another job. They will pay you better. 
you need this healing. You need to go on a vacation. So, you know, one of the things that helped me when I was still working in the workplace, there was uh, the last job that I had. They were promising, kept promising me for, um, to put, bring me on full time or permanent position at this company. And I kept wondering, I say, they keep saying it, but they ain't doing it. They ain't doing it. And I decided I would go, I went on vacation to Vegas for my birthday in 2000. 20, I mean, 2020, actually, before the shutdowns. And when I got back, I had the job. And that may be the very thing that's going on with you, Scorpios. You might need to just chill out. You've applied for the job, wait for the call, you know what I'm saying, and move on so that you can heal. Once you get there and you work things out at your new job, um... Let me go on a vacation. Make plans to go on a vacation so you can relax. You can't work, 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 work. Work, work, work. You know, you've been working, working, working. Take a break. Let that new job come in. Things come in when you're in a relaxed state, Scorpios. Now, if you can't take a vacation, you need to just... Or do yoga or or get a massage or something that will put you in a relaxed state of mind okay anyway that's all I have for you this week I will see you next week for your weekly reads bye oh,